Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new educational video here at Market Wisdom. So glad you joined us once again this afternoon. Make sure you take a second, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as we continue to bring you all the content we possibly can. We're talking, uh, this is a bit of a fun one, talking about movies this afternoon. We're going to give you our top three trading movies or uh, trading related movies in this case. Uh, let's bring in Neil and Sean here and get going, guys, on a bit of a fun topic. Uh, I mean, there's so many good ones out there, very so obvious many. ones uh, to talk about, which we'll touch on. But uh, let's go number one to Neil for top three trading movies. Yes, why not? And uh, this is an all-time favorite of mine. Uh, uh, the actor is fantastic. It's uh, Ewan McGregor, but nobody knew who he was. Well, not many people uh, knew who he was when he made Rogue Trader. And what I love about this film is um, if you, when you watch it, it it's going to be hard for a lot of people to re realize that this was a true story. Uh, it's based on something that actually happened. Uh, real character Nick Leeson, uh, played by uh, Ewan McGregor, bankrupted uh, Barings Bank, one of the, uh, the oldest bank uh, in England at the time that it happened. And uh, it, it's a story that, to me, gives you a lot, of, uh, a lot of lessons to learn as a trader. And obviously, it's a crazy, crazy example to bankrupt a, a bank uh, and cost billions of dollars as a single trader. Uh, you have to wonder how that happened. I, mean, I don't want to spoil too much of it uh, because I really do want you guys to go out and see it. Uh, but the overall theme was, you know, Nick Leeson was truly uh, a superstar. Uh, at the time, uh, uh, heading up an Asian uh, division uh, for Barings Bank and was a very, very profitable uh, division trading for them. He had a lot of successes. He was on the way up, all those things that would give a trader extra confidence. And uh, to the point that he got into a position that he was convinced and convicted that he was correct, uh, was unwilling to give it up. And um, if you've ever heard the term of averaging into a trade, uh, meaning as the price action goes against you, uh, in this case, if it starts falling, uh, you just buy more. And as the index fell, Nick Leeson just bought more. And he bought more. And he bought more. Now, there's a little bit of a side action to it as to how uh, he was able to hide those losses from those that were in the know, uh, certainly. And that's where, uh, that's where the excitement comes into the trade. But from a psychological standpoint, trust me when I tell you this. If you are a trader, if you've experienced a loss, if you have ever averaged down yourself, if you ever hung on to something too long and you have that feeling where you know you're wrong and you shouldn't be doing this, but you're doing it anyways, or the deer in headlights, this is the film uh, for you. It puts everything into perspective. You will feel the dread. There's one scene in particular uh, where he imagines telling his bosses uh, of the loss, and it's a, it's a fun one. Uh, make, sure, uh, make sure you <laughs> watch that part twice. But uh, it's a great lesson to be learned, so much so that now, and I'm not suggesting anyone do this, um, Nick Leeson can go around on the circuit, and of course, yeah, he had some other things happen to him after, but since he served his time, he's able to go around on the speaking circuit and people will pay uh, to listen to him tell his story, what he learned from it. And uh, obviously that gives you an idea that in the trading community, everyone knows the name, uh, everyone's familiar with this story, and everybody can learn from it. And at one point on our trading floor, I used to tell people, if you, haven't, if, I, if you get hired on the floor and you haven't seen this film, you better go out and watch it uh, because it's one of those where learn from someone else's mistake and there's never been a bigger one uh, in perspective. Well, I mean, there's probably been a bigger few uh, in terms of notional value nowadays, but in terms of impact, nothing was more famous. There was an international manhunt for Nick Leeson. When, he, when this happened, and he ran away from that loss. It was a huge event, uh, so definitely check out this film. It was a lot of fun to watch, and I love Ewan McGregor, train spotting. I mean, come on, uh, the guy's a legend anyway. So uh, that's another reason to go watch it. Uh, yeah, great, great movie and, and a true story. And I actually have one that's a true story as well. Um, a little, you, when you're watching, you may not believe uh, that it's a true story. Another classic actor here, uh, amazing. You're going to see who it is. And we do this live on the show all the time, so I'm going to do it now, uh, even though this is a recording. Look, if you know this movie, I'm going to give you a couple hints, okay? Nominated, best picture, best director, best adaptive screenplay. I got to read these all. Best actor, best supporting actor, um, and, and a winner for best actor and supporting actor. What that is going to be is, if you know it, say it in your head because I can't hear you. Uh, but right now we're going to call it up, and it is here. It is, guys. It is the Wolf of Wall Street, uh, DiCaprio versus Ewan McGregor. Uh, pick your poison on that one. Both, you know, classic actors and, and absolutely great. Um, but, okay, Martin Scorsese also uh, with that as well. So, uh, big time there. And, and what, what Wolf of Wall Street was all about, guys, Jordan Belfort, 
It goes back to uh, the good old days of the pink sheets, uh, penny stocks, and, and really taking advantage and sort of looking at some of the loopholes in the market at that time. We don't need to keep, we don't need to keep this up, guys. That's Wolf of Wall Street, um, but uh, that, that's the movie. It's a great cover. And actually, put it back, because I want to show something else uh, back on here. This is why I think it's so hilarious. The fun that happens uh, in the background, right? Um, Jordan Belfort had, had tons and very lavish lifestyle. And I think that when a lot of traders first get into trading, you have that idea that that's what trading is, right? It's throwing money around. It's throwing, throwing people at bullseyes and targets and, and just having a huge fun on the floor. It is like that, but it's also a lot of hard work. And you do see that in the movie. Um, it's a longer movie. I was able to watch this with my wife. It's very topical. There's some funny scenes. There's some sad scenes. Um, and, and I just think it's a, it's a great movie to sort of sit back, relax, you know, on, on a Friday night, a Saturday night, pretty lighthearted, um, great actors, a lot of awards, highly praised. That's Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, great book as well. I mean, the book's not great, but uh, it, there's a book out there so you can sort of watch and then read or read and then watch. But Wolf of Wall Street, for me, um, obviously there's a lot of big ones. Big Short, we talked about as a, as a good book as well. Uh, but I, I chose Wolf of Wall Street. It's fun, it's light, it's an easy watch, and I, I think you'll enjoy it no matter uh, if you're a trader or you're just looking for a good movie. Definitely a great one and uh, absolutely worth a watch. I'm going to give you one, guys, that kind of flew under the radar. A bit of a low budget, maybe not well-known movie, but another one with an absolutely great cast. Let's uh, throw up my screen, guys, if we can. And yeah, Margin Call. A couple of people are already talking about this, but look at the cast in this movie. First of all, uh, Jeremy Irons in the corner there, Stanley Tucci in the corner over here, Demi Moore was in this movie. Yeah, that guy was in this uh, movie as well. We won't mention him. Uh, but there's an absolutely great story. This goes back to the 2008 financial crisis, the subsequent downfall of investment banking. Uh, and uh, downsizing of many other investment banks. Uh, very, very realistic movie. Great cast. Very well written. Again, I, I just actually looked it up. The budget for this movie was $3.5 million only, and it had that kind of a cast in it. So uh, if you haven't done so, go check out Margin Call, guys. Very realistic. Kind of brings back some of the storylines from uh, 2011, 2010, uh, after the 2008 financial crisis. So there you go, guys. The top three, our top three, uh, trading-related movies. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let's go to Valeria. Hey, guys. Thank you for this great information. Dear viewers, please subscribe to this channel and join our live trading show every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time.